How do we get our kids to clean their room? Glad you asked. We recently published a book called Half of Faith, and we asked moms and dads in our community to read one of the stories from this book. Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay, Bismillah. Careless with the camera. Asad and Amin spend the afternoon skateboarding. Look, said Asad. MashaAllah, it's perfect. Um, do you really need that? Said Amin. Yes, the picture I take on my nature walks will be outstanding with the 3,000, said Asad. When Asad gets home, he is excited to ask Dad for the camera. Please put those in your room, Asad, Dad says. Asad dumps his skateboard, helmet, and knee pad in his room. Dad, can you buy me the Ultra HD camera 3000, please? What happened to the camera you have? Dad says. I still have it, but I need this one, Dad. Sorry, son. Just make do with the one you have. I will just have to convince mom and dad to get it for me. So he's thinking by himself. Later in the living room, may I have your attention, please? What is this about, Asad? Says mom. Is that my tie? Says dad. What are, what's the book they are reading? It's an architecture, Islamic architecture. Interesting. I have some statistics to share with you, Asad says. The benefits of the Ultra HD Camera 3000. He wants us to buy him a new camera. Another one, says his mom. Says mom. Asad completes his presentation with a note that says, thank you for my new camera. And finally, with this camera, I calculate I am 24% more likely to graduate from college. So, how about it? Says Asad. That's quite the presentation, but... Asad, you get excited for new things, but then quickly forget about them. I agree with your mother, said Asad's dad. But I won't do that with this camera. You say that now, but... Fine. Asad walks off in defeat. Later, Dad comes to tuck Asad in for the night. This is my tie. I wanted to look nice for the presentation, but it didn't look work anyway. Son, it's not that we don't want to get you the camera. It sure looks like that. When you don't want to keep your things neat and tidy, it's disrespectful to the people who gave you to gave, who gave those things to you. But I do take care of my stuff, Dad. Dad looks around the room. The room's a mess of Asad. I just keep everything on display, like a museum. Anyway, Mom and I discussed it. We decided to rent the camera for you. Jazakallah khairan. If you take good care of it, then we'll buy it for you. I'll take the best care of it, I promise. On his next nature walk, Asad brings the rented camera. MashaAllah! These images are crystal clear. At home, Asad carefully wipes the lenses and puts the camera in its box. Nice and tidy. Next day, Asad takes pictures at Emin's game. Oh, I am like a professional photographer now, he thinks showing the pictures to Emin. At home, Asad wipes the camera lens but forgets to put it in its box. Several days pass. Asad no longer cleans the lens, puts the camera in its box, and everything starts to get dusty. Uh, spider webs all around and mom calls us out from downstairs time for time for dinner is out coming mom crush oh no what was that oh i will go see as it says <gasps> oh no it's almost up 
What have I done? Asad says, Asad thought about it. It's all my fault. I wasn't keeping my room clean or taking care of my stuff, thought Asad. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please help me find a way to fix this, said Asad. Asad decides to tidy his room. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I promise from now on to take care of my things, to show my parents that I do respect them. Just as Asad finishes cleaning, Amin and Hasib come up to Asad's room. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Wow, your room looks amazing, says Amin. What's wrong, dude? <laughs> says Hasib. I broke my camera. Asad tells them what happened. Hasib's an expert on fixing things fixing these types of things no well problem. i'm not an expert <laughs> but i think i can fix this hasib fixes the camera there good as new alhamdulillah thank you hasib no worries i said so asad hasib is taking me to the movies your folks said you can come too sure but first Asad carefully puts the camera in its pr proper box. Thank you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for always helping me. Okay, let's go guys. Assalamu alaikum newer kids. I'm Adyan and this is my mom. Assalamu alaikum. Our cameraman is my daughter, Melike. Hi. And my son, Vera, is joining us today. Hi newer kids. This is my mom. She's reading book Half of Faith, the story Careless with the Camera. Sorry, son. Just make do with the one you have. So they are drinking water here. <laughs> water? Well, how do you say water? Well, we are not from UK, so we just say water. And finally, with this camera, I calculate I'm 24 percent more likely to graduate from college. I wanted to look nice for the presentation, but it didn't work anyway. Hang up. I hanged up. What happens when Asad left his room in this? He accidentally broke something. It's good to keep your things nice, neat, neat and tidy. That's how you show you really appreciate them. So what should we learn from this? We should learn that we should always clean a room and take care of our stuff and respect them. We should always make our room clean. The end. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah. So when I come to our kids, so when I come. Alhamdulillah. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now each of our books has two stories, not just one. And if you liked Half of Faith, you might also like Heart and Soul, Path of the Prophets, Not So Smarty Pants. We have over 180 stories. As a part of Newer Kids, families get a new book delivered to their home every month. And we offer free shipping across the world. Join our efforts at newerkids.com so that way your family can benefit and you can join our community as well. I can't wait to inshallah serve your family soon.